Thanks for all the great tip suggestions you sent in. And here's a tip that resulted from many of your emails. A lot of people continue to be confused over what can be applied on a drawing and what has to be stated. So I thought this month's tip could cover some of the things that are implied on a drawing. Dimension-wise, there are several things that can be implied. When you see lines at 90 degrees to one another or right angles, there's an implied 90 degree angle, whether it's center lines or lines representing features on the part. This is also true for lines that are shown parallel. There's an implied zero degree relationship between the lines. Also, when features are shown on the same center line on the drawing, it's implied that the goal is that these features be coaxial. And the same is true for symmetrical. And if I have a line tangent to a circle, I don't have to say anything about it on the drawing. It's implied to be tangent. And the list goes on. So there are many things dimension-wise that are implied, so we don't have to put a lot of extra dimensions and notes on the drawing. What about tolerances, though? Well, the standard says tolerances must be stated. I know. You'd rather not have to put all those tolerances on the drawing. You say you want them to be implied, too. Well, I want a pony. But let's face it, that's not going to happen. So when we look at the standard, it says, although there's a lot of dimensions that can be implied, tolerances must be stated on the drawing. If you're having trouble stating the tolerances on the drawing, this is our website where you can download well over a hundred tips on applying geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. And you'll also find other resources. I hope this helped answer a lot of your questions and I'll see you next month.